today I am bringing you a really fun video. I was tagged in Keto and Candles bucket list video and um, I was I felt so touched to be uh, tagged in her video. Um, that's just not something that's happened to me before so I felt really privileged to be included in her video. I thought that was cool but um, so it really got me excited to do one of my own. So who I'm going to tag in this video is Jackie Does Keto journey to hell and keto kitchen by lisa all of those ladies are so great and have such great keto channels so definitely check them out if you um haven't heard of them because they are really great so my uh bucket list tag video is going to be a keto bucket list um, i thought i'd make it a little uh a little different than just like a regular bucket list because most people put like travel and stuff on their bucket list but i don't like to travel so i thought i'd i'd do a keto bucket list so this is i think in order of um i'll do five i'll do the least uh the the least important to most important so number five on my keto bucket list is to create a convincing keto gummy bear. I've been trying to make a, a really chewy, uh, convincing candy gummy bear as if you could give it to a kid and they would not know the difference between this keto gummy bear and one that you buy at the store um, in the candy aisle. So I've been testing that out and I feel like I'm making some progress, it's just slow. So that is my number five on my keto bucket list. I wanna do that definitely, definitely. Number four on my keto bucket list is to try the Rebel Caramel Swirl Ice Cream. I have been looking for it for months and there are not very many places in my area that even sell the Rebel Ice Creams, but um, I keep looking at those places and I like to travel to different towns and check out their grocery stores So I'm definitely on the hunt, but I love caramel So I really really want to try the rebel caramel ice cream because I have heard it's really good. So that's number four number three is to be able to make a convincing keto cupcake. I've tried lots of cake recipes and they all just taste like almond flour or coconut flour and they just don't taste like a cupcake to me. I just want it to be light and fluffy and airy. So number three on my keto bucket list is to make a convincing keto cupcake, which if you have any keto cupcake recipes, please put it in the comment section because I would love to try it. Number two on my keto bucket list is I want to visit an Aldi's. I am in California and around me there aren't a whole lot of options. Um, the closest one was about eight hours away, but now they had opened two Aldi's in 2019, so there is actually one that's now three hours away. So I'm gonna actually be able to fulfill this on my bucket list um, soon because uh, I could drive three hours, easy peasy. I drive an hour and a half just to see my family uh, just about every weekend, so double that, that's not bad. So. That's number two on my bucket list. And then number one on my keto bucket list is to have a flat stomach. Um, I know that's something that a lot of women can relate to, but um, you know, ever since I was 16, I always just had a little pooch on my stomach. And you know, you see in um, TV shows and you know, magazines and all this stuff, you know, women having this flat stomach, and I literally never had that. So um, it might be a silly thing to want, but um, that is definitely something I want to achieve, even if it's just for like a second, I'll be happy with that. But that is my number one keto bucket list item. So if you liked this video, please let me know, because this is definitely not a food related video. Um, but I thought it was a fun idea and it wouldn't take too long to do. Um, thank you to Keto and Candles for including me in her bucket list video. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Um, she's a really cool girl. So um, I wanted to make sure to create one to kind of share the fun a little bit because I was excited to be included. So 
Anyways, please let me know if you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. I'd just like to know your opinion. Um, I'll put a comment in the comment section below to kind of start a discussion. And um, I would love to have a conversation with you guys down there. So that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.